Big Ronnie saying if you don't watch this guy's YouTube channel, you're making a big mistake. Hey everybody, uh, how you doing? It's OGP's head <laughs> from Hawaii, because that's all you get to see apparently, is my head, because it's pretty dark behind me. Uh, but take a look at this, let's see if we can see. There's the pool over there. Oh, I look very evil right now. I look very evil. Very evil. With the glasses on there. Uh, but the uh, pool is back there with the tiki torches and stuff. If you listen closely, you may be able to hear the ocean, the ocean in the background. The ocean is going on back there, some waves. Uh, but, there, but there's the pool behind me there. And uh, we're sitting here. So I had a light, the light out here on the porch, turned it on, was getting all ready to go, and the light bulb went out. So I had to panic. I was running around trying to figure out uh, what I was going to do to light the situation. So uh, I'm using another phone, the light on the other phone, uh, to, to light it up here. But I apologize for being so late tonight. Yeah, I know it is uh, after 2 a.m. on the East Coast. And um, I thought that I would be able to go live, uh, like, out, like at the beach or something. Um, we were in town. Uh, earlier and when it would have been like the normal time but the internet on the island is, is pretty horrible now in the room here i do have what says like it's like six i, I thought we were just at 5g but it says like there's a six um uh, but the internet seems to be good here hopefully y'all can hear me hopefully um uh you can see me and uh yeah i am tonight i am the aloha ogp uh, here from the aloha the garden state the uh, Aloha State, uh, or not not the garden, I said the garden state. We're in the garden island in the Aloha State. Let's see, maybe that's, yeah, that's better. Um, so we do need to talk about some horror news. There is, is some news with uh, Saw being backed up here. I'm going to look, make sure. Somebody, would you let me know if you can uh, oop, hear me? Uh, let's see. Oh, Jennifer, I'm actually going to head to bed. Have a, a fun night over there. Night, everyone. Well, Jennifer, coming through with the $10 Super Chat as she leaves. Jennifer, thank you so much for that. You rock. You absolutely rock. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. I'm sorry for going late, uh, going live so late. It just, um, what happened here? I lost. Uh, I'm like, I went. I was on full screen. Now I'm not anymore. I don't know. Um, but uh, I tried to go earlier and... Uh, just a little bug. The one thing about Hawaii, there's bugs everywhere. It's it's very humid, a lot of moisture. Uh, but try to go live earlier, and the internet was just not good. It was not allowing it to happen. So I uh, had to get back here to the condo where we have great internet uh, service here and uh, go live now. So uh, I apologize for it being so late. But uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for that super chat. You absolutely rock. Um, and uh, I'll say hello. To everybody else here in just a moment but um yeah saw x getting backed up to next year very disappointing i was so looking forward to that later this year uh also uh the crow movie which was supposed to come out in june has been backed up to september and i think something else got backed up i i, I don't remember offhand i don't have um notes or paper or anything which i didn't really figure i'd have any of that stuff this week being where i am and what's going on but um, the basics, uh, I guess, uh, Terrifier 3, the filming has concluded. They're wrapped 
and uh, I, I don't know about a release date or anything yet, but it's wrapped. I, I think it's coming out around Christmas time because it's a Christmas horror movie. Um, and uh, so Terrifier 3 has, has concluded filming and the script for, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on it with Samara Weaving. Um, it's part two of a movie she did with the house where they're playing the game and she had to get out. Um, and forgive me, drawing a blank on that, but I guess the script, we talked about that a couple weeks ago, but the script is done and I, I guess it looks great. Everybody's pretty excited about it. So looking forward to that. Um, uh, but, um, anyways, here I am. Yeah, I am in Hawaii in, in, on the Island of Kauai. And I have, uh, uh, some things I'm going to do tonight. Uh, we're going to mix it up a little bit being that I'm here and I don't have a whole lot to talk about in horror and I'm doing this on my phone. So uh, it's going to be a little more challenging for me, uh, but uh, I'll do the best I can. So hang in there. And I'm going to taste test some things. Uh, uh, one, I'm pretty excited about. One, I'm not sure. And one, I'm kind of scared about. Uh, so I'll show you what I got here. Uh, we went to the Kauai Cookie Company. And if I can get that on there. Uh, so these are called Hurricane Cookies. And I, I think they're hurricane cookies because the ingredients, it has like a little bit of everything uh, it, from, from M&Ms to oats, sugar, peanut butter, eggs, margarine, chocolate chips, M&Ms, macadamia nuts, sunflower seeds, like all kinds of stuff. So we're going to try these cookies I got today from the Kauai Cookie Company right here. We're going to try those. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably going to be pretty good. Then, then... Uh, I got also at the Kauai Cookie Company. These they're called Manju. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a, a, a not a reflective light there. Manju, M-A-N-J-U. Never heard of these before. I'm gonna try these. Um, let's see the ingredients on these. Oh, it's got a it's got a lot of shit in it. We we're not gonna bother with the ingredients, but I've never seen these before. But look. They're, they have like these little red dots. <laughs> they almost look like a nipple or something. It's weird. What, what is this? What is this thing? I know we're going to try those. I'm a little, I don't know about those. I don't know about those. But the one I'm really scared about, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Uh, my daughter tried this already and she was not a fan. And I thought, well, you know what? I should try this uh, for you all. And this is Umai, Umai Bo. Well, uh, we got this at the store here. There's like a bag where there's a bunch of them. And this is baked corn snack. It's a baked corn snack. I'm not excited about this at all. It, it's like light, kind of feels like a wafer in there, but apparently it's corn. So uh, we're going to try this. So we're going to try a couple different things uh, that I got here on the island and uh, taste test those. But uh, first, let me tell you, uh, so we got in last night, flew in. Hawaiian Airlines uh, landed. We had to stop in uh, Maui and then come over here, which was very tough because I love Maui. It was tough getting on the plane and leaving Maui. Um, but we got into Kauai, and this is my first time on this island. I've been to Oahu many times. I've uh, been to the Big Island just once, I think, and been to Oahu, or I've been to Maui more than I can count. And so uh, I've never been to Kauai. So here we are, uh, first time on this island, and um just checking everything out kind of learning as we go so earlier today we went to uh i think it's wailua falls if i remember right uh but it's a waterfall that if you remember the show uh fantasy island at the beginning of it in the uh like kind of the opening credits with the plane the plane um there's a waterfall you see we went there to that waterfall which was really gushing uh, because there's been a lot of flooding and a lot of real bad rain. Some storms came through. And uh, luckily, it's drying up. And they're doing a good job cleaning up the island really quickly here. Uh, but um, that waterfall was really flowing. And it was really cool to see that. Uh, then we went over to the Kauai Coffee Company, uh, which you could tour the property, see where they grow the coffee beans. And... Uh, you know, where they make them and stuff. And then, so we had like a cup of coffee there. It was pretty good and, um, bought some coffee for the room here, like coffee beans to ground up to make our own coffee here in the room in the morning. And, uh, that was a lot of fun. Check that place out. Then we went over and, um, 
there, there's I forget the name of it, but it's like in the town. It looks like it's called Hannah Peepee. I don't know if you say Hana Pepe or Hana Peepee or how you would say Han. I would it, knowing what I know about pronunciation of Hawaiian words, I would guess Hana Peepee. But um, there is a like this long. It's very big wooden swinging bridge uh that's you know like you run across you can bounce and like everybody else is flying around and stuff uh, but it's very narrow like ba barely enough room if you had to get by somebody on there uh, but that was a lot of fun went over and checked that out walked around the town there then we went down to waimea i, I want to say it was waimea maybe and we ate lunch at a place called um tiki tacos tiki tacos and we were all kind of excited about it we we're like oh this is gonna be cool like you know mixing hawaiian with mexican food tiki tacos sounds great so we went there and uh, my son uh, my daughter and my daughter's friend all had the like carne asada taco and and it's these gigantic tacos so you just get one they're huge um they had the carne asada and they enjoyed them and my wife had I had the bugs here, I'm telling you. Uh, my wife had, like, it was like pulled pork and fish. So, and I forget what they call it, but it, it has a certain name. And then I just had the pulled pork. And, and I think it was called, like, Kalua pork taco. And uh, I don't know if they cooked it with fish or what, but it tasted very fishy. I did not like it at all. And the, the girl at the register, my wife was asking what was, like, in this item. And she goes, oh, I don't know. And we're like, you can't figure it out? So we were disappointed. Uh, you know, my, like I said, my son, my daughter, and her friend, they, they enjoyed the tacos. Uh, but it, was, it wasn't a great experience. We were a little bummed. So Tiki Tacos, get your shit together. Uh, I don't plan on coming back anytime soon. But, you know, maybe my son or my daughter may. But uh, your customer service wasn't great. Uh, but uh, then after that, we drove up to, I forget, whatever, like this long, long, long road up to where you look out over the canyons where they, like, filmed some of like Jurassic Park and stuff you see all out there um it's really really cool kind of like, you feel like you're looking at the Grand Canyon but you're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean so we went up there a bunch of different lookouts and stuff a lot of fun checking that out seeing like a million waterfalls up there uh and then we drove back and um I kind of got down into town again and and uh we're gonna hang out kind of like you know watch the sunset from this one kind of cool place and I was gonna do my live stream and and it just like it didn't work out the internet was just bad and everything so we're like you know what we'll just come back to the condo and uh, so we got back here uh, made some dinner and uh, now here i am here i am and it's, it's 8 22 here so i don't know what your problem is if you're on the east coast and uh, it's 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 2 22 in the morning it's only 8 22 here uh it's, what, what are we what are you, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do look, 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 look. people are still in the pool people are still in the pool it's only 8 22 uh but uh i'm gonna try and scroll through some of the comments and while I do that, maybe I've got I've got three cores lights handy, and in case <laughs> in case some of these things taste horrible, I've got a, a good old diet coke over here on standby to wash some of that down. Because I don't know, these are going to be sweet. I may not want to wash them down with the beer. It may make the beer taste funny. So here we go. Crack open a beer here. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Uh, cheers, everyone. Uh, here's to drinking beers. In a condo on the beach in Hawaii, in in, in uh, the garden, the Garden Island, right? I think that's what they call it, the Garden Island. If I remember right, on, on Kauai. Here we go. Cheers. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, let me move that. Okay, so let me try and say hello to everybody. Uh, Antonis, what's up? What's up? How's lovely Hawaii? Hawaii is amazing. Mr. Bones, what up? Robert C, what up? Lee Phillips, what up? Man, I know it's late over there. And Jennifer, I, I think you're gone already, but what's up? And thank you again so, so, so much for that super chat, Jennifer. You absolutely rock. And let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Trying to get everybody. DJ, aloha, DJ, aloha. Uh, I, I, I kind of feel like I see this over here in, in different T-shirts and things, but I feel like this, this hand gesture here is like a... Um, like a more maui thing because that's where it was from the whole story with this was uh there was a guy working on the sugar canes over in maui the sugar cane fields and he got these three fingers chopped off on the job 
and he had to wave to tell like the truck drivers when to go and when he would wave it looked like this because these three fingers were chopped off so that's where it kind of came from that's where the origination of that was um and so i feel like it's more like a hawaiian thing i'm, I'm sorry a maui thing because it's all hawaii uh but um i'm gonna back this the light is a little bit up oh, oh, a little bit intense i'm gonna back that up a little bit over there it's it, it was all set up nice and then and then a light bulb went out over here uh robert want to go to hawaii one day you got to dude you totally got to uh it's not working let me get a better angle there there we go uh hawaii i love hawaii especially maui oh man absolutely love maui uh let's see antonis and and uh, man i know it's so late we don't have everybody here uh i only know a couple of hawaiian words antonis yeah i i don't know many i know aloha um i know uh mahalo which is like uh, i think like thank you and um uh, ikomo mai, no ikomo mai does that mean like you're welcome or something um I, I, yeah i'm not really versed in it and mr bones thank you yeah i was ready or not with samara weaving uh that script yes looks so good uh and i, I can't wait michael mcnally what's up I really cannot wait uh, for that movie to come out because the first one was so good. Steve Mayers, what's going on? Uh, Antonis says, I always get confused. So Hawaii, um, not its own island. Are there multiple islands? Uh, yeah. So there are, um, you have like a whole chain. I think there's like seven main islands in Hawaii. You've got uh, the island of Kauai, which is the furthest west. Then you have Oahu, where the capital is, where like Honolulu and Waikiki are. They're on Oahu. Then you have like Lanai, Molokai, Molokini. And then you have um, Maui and the Big Island. And uh, the Big Island is obviously the Big Island. And, and, and the reason they call it the Big Island instead of like its own name, like Kauai or Maui or something, is because the Big Island is the island of Hawaii. And uh, each island is like its own county. So, you know, like in your state, for example, um, Antonis, you live in Los Angeles County. And um, so Kauai is its own county. Maui is its own county. The Big Island is its own county. Oahu ha has a county. I think Oahu only has one county. Um, but then, um, you know, you have different cities. And, and the island of Oahu, there's a lot going on there with honolulu and waikiki very very big city and um they have pearl harbor there the north shore there's a lot to see and experience on that island uh, but it's the most touristy and the water is because there's so much going on with the port the navy and everything uh, the water is not as crystal clear as it is uh, like on on maui or Kauai. and uh, i haven't done any like snorkeling or swimming or anything yet uh, just because we've only been here one day and we're kind of exploring the island uh, but i'll get there i will get there uh but man maui maui is my like absolutely love maui it's my second home and uh, you know i, I just I, I i love it but i wanted to experience this island for once so here we are uh dg says that's how it is sometimes sometimes locals welcome tourists with aloha sometimes uh some show their ass no DG, you're 100 right and um I, you know we even experienced that on maui uh where um you know you're you're, you're you roll up in to their state you know we're a bunch of howlies and uh you know some people like us some people don't um but to me the experience we had there with um that that restaurant i don't think it had anything to do with us being tourists i mean technically we're tourists i don't there are tourists that annoy the living shit out of me like there was a tour bus that was going up the mountain like where we were today and all these like schmucks just get off off the bus and they're, they're just standing in the way uh they're being loud their kids are running around being rude and it's just like oh come on people and uh, same thing over at the coffee place a lot of tourists who were just assholes and um i i just it's like a little common courtesy and everything would be nice but i, I want to understand how um you know like natives uh, or just anybody living in hawaii we get tired of that um but we do our best and we've been to the islands enough that we know um you know like kind of the etiquette of the islands and stuff but uh yeah, I understand. Some folks just don't care uh, for us coming over here, and and, and that's fair. Uh, it's you know, especially if they're natives. Uh, it's this is their home, you know, 
their heritage and everything here. Uh, but um, I mean, it's it's a beautiful place. And whether it was part of the United States or not, I would still love to come visit. Uh, but the experience we had with that restaurant, I think, also checking in, getting getting our car, the rental, that was a bad experience too because uh, the customer service there was horrible. And um, where else did we experience bad customer service? Oh. We stopped into Walmart to pick up some groceries for the condo here. And um, the people at Walmart were just jerks. So it's like, man, I had three bad customer service experience in the first day. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. The condo here is amazing. Uh, there's like a grassy area, there's the pool, and, and then there's the beach right there. So uh, I'm in love with the condo, love with the area. And I, I just love the Hawaiian Islands. So uh, we're going to make the best of it. We won't let a little bad customer service ruin our trip. We definitely won't do that. Uh, but um, yeah, here we are. Um, and uh, we, we'll get to trying some of these things out here in just a second. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeff Keaton, thanks. Uh, definitely will have a great vacation. I appreciate that. Uh, we should send you some super chats so you can jump in the ocean. <laughs> Robert, uh, I'll tell you what, I am not jumping in the ocean. Um, in the middle of the night the, uh, matt's pool is one thing it's lit and uh, it's in matt's backyard the ocean uh, not only does it have sharks <laughs> but, but it has uh currents and and tides and waves and uh, i don't need to get sucked out to sea uh <laughs> you know and, and, and drown in the middle of the night for a super chat but uh, i appreciate the thought robert i, I really do uh, depending where you are and who you, you're with, you can have several different background origin stories of the Shaka. No, uh, DG, yeah, I've, I've heard different things. Um, but that one, so I actually heard that story. Uh, I heard it uh, on Oahu in the, um, the Dole Plantation, I heard that story there when we were taking like the train ride around the Dole Plantation. And then I also heard it at the uh, Sugar Cane Museum on Maui. Uh, but I'm sure the, the origin of that, it, it's probably questionable. Uh, but to me, that's it's more of a just a Maui vibe. And, and one of the interesting things about this island is it just it, it really does have a different vibe. And, and each island really has a different vibe, but uh, Maui is like laid back, chill. Nobody's in a hurry, uh, and and you're just doing your thing, having a good time, living life. Uh, over here, man, traffic is nuts, and everybody's in a hurry. Even when you're walking through the store, it's like everybody's like hustle and bustle, hustle and bustle. The airport was packed. There's a million tourists everywhere. Um, I, I, it's just man, there's a lot going on. Now here at where our, our hotel is on the beach or a condo hotel, whatever, um, it's quiet, laid back, chill, uh, but you're going to town and it's just kind of nuts over here where I don't get that vibe um, in uh, Maui at all. And uh, so I do in that sense prefer Maui, uh, but I've only been here a day. So we got to give it some time. I'll, I'll make a formal uh, kind of opinion after spending a full week here and and then we can kind of uh, decide uh which i like best yeah no no uh howly definitely <laughs> definitely uh, i know i know what's up maybe that, there's one other hawaiian word i do know right uh how many years ago did hawaii become the usa uh antonis i think like 100 years ago or something that's a good question uh like anywhere there's the good with the bad and you can't judge all by a few funny thing might have been uh one of my cousins giving you the stink eye. that's funny <laughs> dg that's hilarious that is hilarious uh ogb i went to see civil war and i really liked it okay nice well very cool uh, uh i guess fluffy and michael ray bauer and uh, what movie one went and saw civil war last night uh are a lot of hawaiian tourists from europe uh you know what there are i've seen uh a lot of indians like from from india and um some asians i and I, I don't know which countries they're from uh but uh asians and indians i've seen um but i i don't know if they were europeans i, I wouldn't know without really talking to them because a lot of europeans just kind of look like white or whatever and you know i mean thing is with the united states you could look like whatever and uh be american 
but uh, hearing strong, like heavy uh, Hindu accents, uh, I figure I'm guessing they're from India. Um, and uh, then the Asians, I'm, maybe they're from Asia, maybe they're from the United States. I don't know. But um, I wouldn't know about European sentiments. I, I just I wouldn't really know about that. Uh, but uh, anyways, here we go. Let's try. Let's. So. So again, I've got I've got this thing. Corn, a, a baked baked corn snack. I'm not looking forward to trying this, but I'm going to try this. I got this here. I've never seen these before. Um, but actually, I say I got this, but my wife picked them up at the store. It's a big pack. There's like, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 of these little things in that bag. So we've got this, and then we've got manju, whatever this is, and um, then we've got the hurricane cookies right here, hurricane cookies. So um, maybe we'll, I'm, I'm really worried about this. Maybe I'll try this second, uh, and then I, I'll probably try this first, and then we'll go with the hurricane cookies last. So here we go. Let's open this up, and let's try this. Manju. Uh, does it say anything about, no, it's just. Uh, a baked azuki bean from the Kawaii Cookie Company. Here we go. We're gonna try this out. Get this open here. Hopefully, it's not really hot. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, it doesn't burn my ass. Uh, like like uh, what movie one with that one chip challenge? Hopefully, nothing. This is like that where I need to wind up in the emergency room. So here we go. Oh, that, that smells kind of good. See, it's like this little. It almost looks like a nipple with a red dot on it. It's kind of weird. Uh, smell smells good. Smells sweet. Uh, but here we go. Going to taste test Manju. M A N J U from man. The, the light is just too bright. From the Kawaii Cookie Company. Here we go. There's something in the middle. Kind of looks like a meatball, but it's it's not. I think it's just like maybe the the bean or something. It's not bad. It's very soft, chewy. Um, somewhere like between a cake and a cookie, something like somewhere somewhere the 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 consistency, the texture of it, somewhere between a cake and a cookie. And that middle part is a different texture. It's almost creamy. But this is actually really good. I'm enjoying this. I don't know. Like, you got this whole bag. Maybe I could eat, like, two of these, and I'd probably be good. Um, but it's definitely delicious. Manju. OGP approved. Manju. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll just set this down over here. Finish the rest later. I think I'm safe. Go ahead, wash that down with a swig of the Coors Light. Because that's like how alcoholics roll. Oh yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. Let's see here. Um, uh, Michael McNally, the hurricane cookies, great. Oh, nice. Uh, Michael, have you had those before? Uh, I'm excited. I am looking forward to checking those out. Uh, Robert says, I'm glad you're having fun. My son and his girlfriend are traveling all over Europe. They've been there for over a month. Oh, Robert, that's awesome. <laughs> Walter, stuff that muff. Yes, we're going to get stuffed like a muff. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get stuffed like a muff. A stuff like a muff. Uh, that's what we're going to do. It. Uh, DG, Manju is more of a Japanese dessert. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I, I had no idea what it was. I just, we were walking through uh, the Kauai Cookie Company today, stopped at the Kauai Cookie Company, um, just because a friend recommended, he's like, you got to try the cookies there, they're good. So um, we had a couple other things that we tried, I don't remember exactly what they were called, uh, but I was like, I'm going to save a couple items for the live stream tonight, just to, just to test them out and uh, see how they are live on the uh, good old YouTube here. I still think slide is too bright, I'm going to back this up a little bit more. Maybe a little bit better. So, um, so now, yeah, we, we still have the hurricane cookies, uh, but I think, I think I'm going to try this next. 
this this is way too light it, it feels it's almost like it feels like a cigar like i should be smoking this thing uh but here we go <laughs> baked corn snack ah man let's see the ingredients if i can read this here uh oh they're very small the words are the words are very very small right here so let's just open this up uh michael mcnally if you don't like them i will be shocked okay the cookies the cookies sound great the cookies really sound great so uh let's see antonis are there coconuts on the island you're on yes there are definitely coconuts okay so we're opening this oh god it's <laughs> baked corn snack it looks like a it look, uh, trying to get this camera to focus on this yeah oh 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 my god it smells like corn it, it really does it really it smells like corn it doesn't smell like a chip it actually smells like like buttered corn ah i am so scared of this thing <laughs> all right ah man baked corn snack ah, here we go oh, jesus christ what the fuck is that Oh my god. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Uh. That's a treat. People eat that? People eat that? I can't get it out of my mouth. I can't. I can't get that taste out of my mouth. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. I need another beer. That is so bad. For oh my God. Ugh. This should be my thumbnail. This should be my thumbnail. Who the hell would do this to themselves? Oh, oh my bow. Ugh. Ugh. Never. Don't do it. Don't eat these. Don't eat these. I'm eating some more of this. Mmm. The, the taste doesn't want to go away. Baked corn snack. What the hell is wrong with people? So, somebody, these are in stores. So somebody, somebody on this planet had to think this tasted good to, to, to put it in a, in a package and sell it. That was disgusting. Uh oh, How, how's my am I as my signal coming through good? I just kind of flashed for a second. Um, oh, look at what movie one's here. What's up, wet boy? <coughs> oh, god, this. Oh, it's so damn horrible. Ugh, don't ever, don't ever do those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what movie one's in the house? Uh, um, Balzer's been lurking really early in the morning. Yeah, it's very early. Sorry about that, Balzer. Um, let's see. Uh, I, oh, do you be likes in his mouth? I do. Tech, but not that. Not that corn thing. Not that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I don't know you. I don't know what you just ate. A lot of desserts are Asian fused or influenced in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, that. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, you can see. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Bean chili, what up, Bean chili? How you doing? And we're on late, so uh, Bean chili was able to to get home from work probably and, and hang out. Very cool. Uh, you're a good sin. Okay, yeah, it was weird. It kind of like blacked out over here for just a second. Maybe my maybe something's going on my phone. Uh, but good to know. Good to know. Uh, you running on island time? Yes, I am. I am running on island time. 
it's only 844 here. So, so I don't know what's going on with you all. Uh, but it's only 844. I love island time. Island time is a good thing. Oh, I, I taste corn. So in this taste, it definitely tastes like corn. It definitely has a corny flavor. Um, but something else. It's got, there's something, I don't, uh, I don't know what else, what other flavor that was, but this did not just taste like corn. It tastes like something else. I like corn. I'm a big fan of corn. I'll have a, uh, I'll have cream corn. I'll have corn on the cob. I'll have, uh, you know, like a, like a corn chowder. Uh, I'll have just like regular corn, sweet corn, you name it. I'm all about corn. This, uh, I, I cannot condone this. Do yourself a favor. Uh, this, on the scale of uh, one to completely sucks ass, is uh, this sucks fucking ass. Don't eat this. Wow. Wow. So, uh, so far, we got a hell no for that. And uh, we got a, oh, yeah, for the manju here. And uh, now, we, we, we still got these. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, well, hey, it's kind of hard to see it. The reflection of the, the the light there makes it, but it does say hurricane cookies. So we're gonna we're gonna check these out. Uh, DG says you better off sticking with uh, malasadas like a donut and wapai. Is that wapai? Hopai? How do you say that? Hopai? Uh, like a coconut jello? Oh yeah, yeah. I think I've, I think I've had that before. I think I had that that how you say that hopai 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 uh, uh, and like a and like a luau or something before over on uh, Maui. I think I had that there. Um, but that corn shit, ooh. But that that wasn't like made. These are made fresh on the island here. I, I don't know where this stuff was made. Maybe China or something or Japan. Uh, but these are made fresh on the island right here in Kauai, the Kauai Cooking Cookie Company. So here we go. There we go. And I, I was worried about that. The idea that it was going to be baked corn and it was like that light like there's no weight to that at all i was very concerned about that <coughs> it's still i don't need to be showing you me dealing with that but ugh, it still tastes corn it's horrible it's so horrible so here we go the hurricane cookie it kind of looks like an oatmeal cookie uh like an oatmeal raisin or something uh how pia how, the how pia okay okay you see this see this is good having dg here uh schooling me educating me helping me along uh with with the uh education on the uh the hawaiian cuisine here um appreciate that uh uh funsky 40 what up? i saw a great comedy flick called the first omen recently <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was a comedy it was definitely a comedy uh, it, it kind of, they kind of missed the mark and failed miserably. A lot of the jokes fell flat. <laughs> oh man. And it was definitely a ripoff. It was like, you know, you have like, you have the movie scream, right? You had scream and then you had scary movie. So, uh, the first omen I think was the, uh, the scary movie to immaculate, like immaculate was like to scream. And then, uh, the first omen was like the scary movie. A lot of people didn't care for the care for Immaculate, but Immaculate was way better than First Omen. I, I did not care for that at all. But look at this. I'm looking forward to this. A hurricane cookie. Uh, we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna cleanse my palate with a little more beer first, because that's what true alcoholics do. You cleanse your palate with Coors Light. There it is. There's and usually I hate when people eat on camera. I always get fluffy shit. Because I would bring Fluffy on from time to time, and he'd be sitting there eating, and it's like, come on, dude, nobody wants to watch that. But when you're when you're taste testing stuff, you have to actually eat. So here we go. Here it is, a hurricane cookie. This is the one I was most excited about. A hurricane cookie from the Kauai Cookie Company. Here we go. Let's check this out. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm surprised, and one ingredient in here that I was kind of surprised about is very prominent. 
I taste the sunflower seeds in this. I really taste the sunflower seeds. It, 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 to me, it tastes like a sunflower seed cookie. It's very strong. It, it's a decent cookie. It's a crunchy. Um, I don't know if I would have preferred it soft or crunchy, but it's a crunchy cookie. The uh, sunflower seeds, very, very strong sunflower seed taste. But it's good. This is good. I, I think I like the uh, manju or manju, whatever you say that. I think I like that better. Uh, but let me let me take another bite of this and see. Uh, maybe there's different flavors throughout the cookie here. Hmm. Hmm. Still a very strong sunflower seed taste in this cookie. Um, this, I mean. Maybe maybe the others because it supposedly has M and M's and chocolate and different things in it. Um, the sunflower seed flavor is very strong. I would rather tone that down a little bit. Maybe some other uh, some other flavor be a little more prominent. Uh, but it's not bad. Um, would I buy this again? I don't know. Um, but it's not bad. I'll definitely eat the rest of those or share them. You know, with my family. Uh, but but that's not bad. But um, let's see. Let's get a recap here. I hear so um, my daughter trying to get a, a good look here. Oh, the evil OGP with the sun with the uh, shadows. Um, but I do know there are people still in the pool over there, uh, including my daughter and her friend, because uh, my daughter brought her friend with us. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you would see. Uh, pictures of uh, my wife and uh, my daughter, and uh, that's the evil OGP looker. Um, but uh, yeah, the whole family and uh, my daughter's friend, who's like basically part of the family. Um, but uh, yeah, I know my daughter and her friend are down there at the pool right now uh, while I'm up here. I'm actually I'm sitting on the second floor. We have uh, uh, it's a three story building, and our condo is two stories. We have the second and third floor, and uh, um, the the lanai is out here on the second floor. So I'm out here on the second floor, overlooking the pool area, and uh, over there's the beach. And if I had a better internet signal, I would go for a walk. Um, you know, there's not much I could really, really show you around the property right now because it's dark. Uh, but maybe we could go down by the water or something. But uh, you know, I, I could put the flashlight on or something. Uh, but um, once I get out of the, the Wi-Fi signal from the condo here, yeah, the internet is bad, like bad in this area. So got to stay right here. Yeah. Uh, pardon me. I've got to eat cookies and drink Coors Lights and have a good internet signal. That's what we got to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, the pool's right back there. And the nice thing is here at this condo, uh, the pool is open till 10 p.m. So they've got about another hour uh, that they can uh, wow what's going on here you would think i was like drinking uh, a bunch of coors light or something i'm burping um but uh, yeah they're all hanging down hanging out down there at the pool people having fun and stuff uh but let me hear let me let me let me let me get back i know i missed some comments here uh mm, 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 mm. chili says all kinds of decline yeah yeah all kinds of decline and uh man you know it's funny because on maui i never felt like this before but on this island, I feel like every road I drive down, I've seen on an episode of Dog the Bounty Hunter. And, uh, you know, I, I know uh, Dog was on Oahu, but I remember uh, seeing episodes where he would go to different islands. And I was not the biggest fan of the show, but I love Hawaii. And he was all over Hawaii. So I was like, ooh, I enjoyed watching it just to see the different parts of Hawaii. Um, but... Uh, I feel like every every street I go on in this island, I'm like, oh, I feel like I've seen that in an episode of Dog the Bounty Hunter. Uh, I'm like, I'm now, yes, silver bullets for the win. Uh, let's, let's let's take it to let's take them. Let's take this silver bullet to Pound Town right here. We go here. We go. That's it. Yo, we're gonna have we're gonna, we're gonna have to burp again. LB Bayasa, what up? Here you go. You want a cookie? Here, I'll share with you. Here you go. Here, get a bite of that. Get a bite of that. Right there. There you go. Get at that. Sorry. One of these days, I'll be able to send cookies uh, through the live stream. Like, in, uh, you could, like, 
3D print them or something. <laughs> 3D printed cookie. That'd be awesome. Um, Antonis says, Hawaii have the same stores and restaurants as California. A lot. I mean, Hawaii, you go to, um, you know, like the major malls or the, 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 in, in town, um, you got Walmart, you got Costco, you got, you know, the gas stations, um, Panda Express, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Subway, uh, 7-Elevens are everywhere. Uh, but then you also get like a lot of places like that, Tiki Taco or uh, like mom and pop kind of uh, restaurants or shops uh, that, that you would not have in California. Uh, but a lot of the same stuff. So if you come over here, it's like, you know, if, if you're not, you know, comfortable just going out and trying something new, uh, they definitely have enough restaurants where you can eat something that you're familiar with. That's for sure. Uh, Funsky, Immaculate Story was very similar to the first Omen, but the makers actually did their work seriously there. And overall was a decent film. And I agree with that. Now, Immaculate, I, I thought at the ending, I was like, oh, man, are they actually going to have the balls to do this, what they did at the very end. And, and I won't say it to spoil it just because maybe there are people that haven't seen it yet. Uh, but I was like, are they going to actually have the balls to do what they did at the end of Immaculate? And, and they did. And I was like, very impressed with that because most filmmakers or, or studios would not have the balls to do what they did at the end of Immaculate. Um, but there were some parts in the middle that maybe they could have picked up the pace or whatever. Uh, but Immaculate was fun. I enjoyed it. I'll probably buy it when it comes out. The first Omen can suck my butt. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not going to get that. I don't need that. But uh, Immaculate was fun. Not the best movie ever, but it was fun. And in the end, I was just impressed how they actually had the balls to end it properly. Uh, let's see. Michael McNally says, usually is torn down with the sunflower or oh, toned down with the sunflower seeds, typically more sweet than savory. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So maybe, maybe, um, you know, if I try another cookie or two, um, and each batch, you know, being like, um, you know, made, you know, by people here on the Island, you know, you, you might get maybe one person likes to dump a little more sunflower seeds in or some, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I'll uh, I'll definitely be trying more of them. Maybe give you some more uh, feedback, um, you know, on them next week or some. Uh, let's see, being chili. Are you getting your daily plate lunch or loco mocos in? So um, we, you know, we just got here yesterday. Just got here yesterday. So um, last night, uh, because of getting in town kind of late and. We went over to the store to get like groceries and things, you know, for, for the condo here. Uh, so we just did a quick, easy dinner. My daughter and her friends stayed back here at the condo while we went out. Um, so we just picked up Panda Express last night, just had, had Panda. Um, and then this morning in the condo, uh, I cooked up some pancakes and eggs and sausage. And I had a nice breakfast here in the condo. And then we went out for lunch. We had the uh, tiki tacos. And uh, for uh, dinner, we cooked like uh, like a nice Italian. Had a little, 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 little Italian dinner over here uh, in the uh, in the room over here. These guys, these, these fucking guys, had an Italian dinner in Hawaii. What are you doing? Oh, forget about it. Um, but uh, no, we're gonna be trying. We always usually have one meal out a day, and then try and do two in the condo, just to save money and. It's about spending time together and family and being here, uh, you know, on the island, enjoying the island. So we don't need to go eat out every single meal, uh, but we are definitely we always we always like to try new places. And and, and um, there's I think there's going to be like a sushi place we're going to go check out. And I forget the name of this other thing. Sounds like wasabi, but it's not. It's like wasabi or was something it kind of sounds similar to wasabi uh, but my daughter and her friend are like so excited to go check this place out um so we're going to be checking there's a few places we're going to be checking out um but uh yeah I, you know yeah i haven't eaten too much yet we've only been here 24 hours so we've got a week to go still we have plenty of time uh let's see here michael uh still awesome cookies yeah no 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 it's still good still good and i'll tell you what we had some other things like we had these macadamia, macadamia nut, macadamia something cookies earlier that were amazing. 
the Kawaii Cookie Company did not disappoint. Um, but uh, yeah, but yeah, these ones a little strong on the uh, on the on, on the on the on the sesame seeds, but but or on the sesame seeds, the sunflower seeds, but not bad, not bad. It's not a bad cookie. Uh, let's see here. LV pasta. I want a pineapple cocoa cookies from Hawaii. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Pineapple coconut. Those are amazing flavors together. I love those. Um, and, and that's, what we got in there, uh, for another night. Maybe I'll try and go live another night also while I'm here. Maybe, maybe if I can do it a little bit earlier or something. Um, but, uh, we have pina colada mix. Uh, so we, we bought a bottle of, uh, bought a bottle of Malibu. Uh, we got a bunch of ice. And a pina colada mix, so maybe uh, we'll we'll mix up some pina coladas, and uh, maybe I'll like toss back some more Coors Lights, uh, and, or, or I'll try. I'll, I always enjoy trying uh, like local brews, uh, you know, because I know there's a few brewing companies here in Hawaii. Uh, maybe maybe try like a, a couple local beers or some, uh, but uh, but uh, you know who knows who knows we'll see about that. But but uh, I've I've uh, been enjoying my silver bullets so far uh funsky 40 if you're planning to visit vegas you must stay at the encore the best hotel with the best rooms uh funsky so um i, I go to vegas a lot and and i'll be going there twice in the very 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 near future one for a movie premiere and and another to uh be hanging out with uh matt and justin and um i'm thinking i'll probably be staying with matt matt and uh no and uh i'm sure the, the encore um you know the win the encore phenomenal places and uh, i don't think i've ever been in the encore but i've been in the win uh, years ago and uh, i just uh having friends out there in vegas usually i stay with friends and or if we stay in vegas at a hotel i like to stay downtown i just i love the vibe on fremont street and uh the, you know the four queens without the resort fee uh to me is it's just it's cheapest deal uh free park in there you know it just it works out for me um but i usually i enjoy staying with friends so I've, I've got matt i've got greg um yeah I've got other friends out there in vegas i could stay with too so uh there's you know there's that but uh, i'm sure the encore is very nice uh jude what up i'm working all night into later today hello everybody uh well hello jude very nice to see you on this um uh, i guess uh even for the west coast now because it's midnight 01 uh this early tuesday morning now uh let's see here uh michael mcnown careful had a fred uh had a fried spam sandwich yet um so i haven't had any spam on this trip but um i learned i mean I, if, if you know about hawaii you know that they do spam here that's it's, it's a thing but you know what i actually uh i'm not gonna lie mcdonald's here in hawaii and i don't know about on this island but on oahu years ago i had the hawaiian mcdonald's breakfast and it had rice eggs spam and this Portuguese sausage and the Portuguese sausage is legit. And I actually have some, some of that Portuguese sausage in the fridge here that we're going to have with breakfast, uh, maybe tomorrow morning. And, uh, but the, the fried, the, the, like they slice a spam and then throw it on the skillet or whatever and fry it up. Uh, that it's not bad. It's not bad. You had that with little, little, uh, eggs and, and, and rice. Uh, it's not bad. I kind of dig it. I, you know what? And since I was a kid, um, and my parents didn't have a lot of money when I was a kid. And so, uh, I mean, we weren't like homeless or poor or broke or anything like that, but just didn't have a lot of money. My mom stayed home and raised us. Uh, my dad went to work. And so there was just not a lot of money. So, um, we ate things, um, like Dinty Moore canned stew, you know, stuff like that, or like spam. And, um, uh, I, I, I don't know. I never had a problem with spam. I, I didn't, I know a lot of people hate spam. But uh, to me, it wasn't bad. Um, in Hawaii, especially in the city side, there is like an ABC store every other block. Yes, the ABC stores. And what I love about the ABC stores is, you know, one, they're convenient. Because, yeah, especially like in Honolulu, they're everywhere in Honolulu. Um, but they have like a lot of 
uh, we used to get the, like right before we'd be going home, uh, we would get like a bag of, I think it was like, um, like either macadamia nut or banana, something like this pancake mix that we would take home. Uh, maybe it was like banana macadamia nut or something that we would take home that they sold at the ABC stores. But it was convenient if you needed like to run down, get, grab something to drink or snack or whatever. The ABC stores were always there for you. Uh, OGP, I will be listening to the rest of the live stream while I work out. Well, uh, hey, have a good workout, Robert. I appreciate you. Uh, Seb, what's up? What's up? You in Hawaii? What island? Kauai is my favorite. Well, 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 it's the middle of the night, so you can't really tell. Uh, but I am on Kauai right now as we speak. I am in the county. I'm on the island of Kauai. Yes, I am on Kauai. Uh, Maui is my personal favorite, but uh, I'd never been to Kauai before, so we came to check out Kauai. And I've only been here this I've been here about 20, well, maybe 27 or 28 hours now or something. Um, uh, but I haven't even been here two days yet, just, just over a day. So, got a, got a lot, let a lot, let more, let a lot more sink in and experience a lot more, uh, before I really decide uh, if I like it better than Maui. But man, I love maui absolutely love maui but yep here i am uh dreams jude says i've been to maui and some other islands i can't name at the moment multitasking mm -hmm. uh, years might be slightly off been a while since i was there still have my boarding shorts oh nice no and uh, you gotta have i gotta i gotta um, i'm not wearing board shorts right now they're in the uh in the other room but uh, i just wear shorts and uh, like i usually rock like a harley t-shirt or something when i'm when I'm just chilling, but, um, yeah, you know, you gotta have the board shorts and, um, you know, be ready to dive in the water at any time. You gotta be, gotta be ready to go. Uh, only West coast peeps know what boarding shorts are. Uh, mm, sorry about that. Um, and, and, and Michigan people are dumb when they ask what I'm wearing. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I understand, you know, you're, you're, you know, California, Hawaii, uh, you, you're usually wearing like the board shorts. You just jump in the water stuff, so. Michigan. I don't know that you're jumping in that water. If, if, unless you have to, it's kind of cold over kind of cold. Even I would imagine the great lakes probably cold in the middle of summertime too. I would just guess, um, Michael possible. Give us some reviews on the places, uh, you try, uh, as far as food goes and, 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 and I will. And that's why. You know, I thought it, so today I recorded some video when uh, we were, you know, checking out different places around the island, uh, just like the the places to see. Uh, and then I went into Tiki Tacos and I started to record. And uh, then I had such a bad experience with the the, the cashier because it was like, you know, my wife wanted to know what veggies they had on this certain item. And the, the, the woman at the register goes, I don't know. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you, you can't go ask, you can't go ask the cook, you know, or, or you don't have a men you like a, like a, like a, a menu that has the ingredients on it or something. She just said, like, I don't know. And stared at us. We're like, all right. And, and then the food was, I did not like it at all. It was horrible. Even the tortillas were bad, but here's the thing. You have to understand. Um, I am a bit of a Mexican food snob living in Southern California um it doesn't get much better than when you're talking about tacos and stuff i know when you get deep down into mexico like mexico city further down there yucatan stuff like that um it, they eat a little bit different but uh when it comes to tacos burritos things like that um it's got to be top notch or else i'm going to call you out on it and these these tiki tacos were not that great they weren't the tortillas were kind of funky and uh it just it wasn't good so uh uh, but I will, I will try and give you some food reviews and, and I'm trying to put together a video, uh, to get out for you. I've also, uh, you know, I went out with fluff the other day and we went uh, movie hunting. I've got that video. I've got to get edited and put out for you. Uh, me and fluffy going around kind of like the Palm Springs area, hitting up a bunch of thrift stores and, uh, we bought a few things. Um, but I got to get that video edited and put out for you here very soon. Uh, you got me in the mood for some, uh, uh, Lao Lao and Poi. Uh, I don't know what Lao Lao is, but the Poi, I know you can, I think you can keep the Poi. I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm a fan of that. Uh, but, uh, man, uh, it's funny. We always get into talking about food and then everybody gets so hungry over here. 
uh ogp gonna end up showing us his new board short i can't wait you know no i haven't bought any yet i haven't bought any uh no no new clothes or anything like that yet uh but i probably will i usually wind up with something new to wear and i did see the harley davidson store here uh so i will probably get a Kauai harley shirt at some point while i'm here uh fried twinkies oh damn you're in Kauai. any chance you're coming to oahu uh, unfortunately no not on this trip um we when we leave here we fly uh straight from Kauai to lax and then home so uh no 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 oahu on this trip but um uh, hopefully man i love hawaii hopefully i'll be back here before <laughs> like sooner than you know it uh but uh man it, trying to think i think it's been four or five years it was like right before covid last time we went to oahu i i don't remember the exact date but um i know we took the kids to oahu because we wanted them to experience pearl harbor when when they were old enough to remember it and um no it might have been during covid because i seem to remember that yeah no it was during covid that we went to oahu because the um it was i think it was like 2021 we went to oahu maybe 20 yeah 2021 i think we went to oahu uh because uh i seem to remember going over to pearl harbor they didn't have the full like everything open that they would normally have and, and we were having to wear masks and shit um so it's been a couple of years since i've been to oahu but uh man i love hawaii and i'll get back here every chance i get so uh next time i'm coming uh i will let you know that's for sure uh have you eaten a hawaiian food called poi um you know and and, and um i believe i've had poi and if i remember right uh, i didn't care for it uh if i remember right it, is poi like a dessert or am i confusing that with something else uh if you get the chance maybe y'all like the sleeping giant trail a bit of a hike but worth it okay nice sleeping giant i'll have to look up that look that up we've got uh we got a book that's like you know everything to do on Kauai here uh it's kind of the same uh author that made the book that we have for maui uh but um and then we, then we got like a map and some other things about like stuff to do here on the island uh fried twinkies portuguese sausage smacks no 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 that portuguese sausage is legit like love that stuff love that stuff it's so good uh i grew up on and still today eating spam eggs and rice no ain't nothing wrong with that dg i'm, I'm like it's is legit that that is a solid breakfast right there uh didn't eat more beef stew is good to go yeah fried twinkies i got I'm down with that you know what i have i, I like I'm not going to lie. It's not the greatest food in the world, but I'll get down on some dinty more. Uh, are you into Japanese horrors? I fell in love with Japan through their uh, kawaii moves. Oh, I, no, I didn't. I didn't know that. You know, uh, I, I'm I'm really getting into like uh, over the last two, three years into like Korean horror movies. But honestly, I haven't seen too many Japanese. I've seen a couple. I can't remember the names off the top of my head, um, but uh but the the koreans man man they make some good horror movies i haven't seen too much only in japanese though um uh, michael i love spam and demi more stew sometimes uh kind of stuff gets uh gets spot yeah no um you know every once in a while you're just like you want something quick you want some tasty filling or whatever every once in a while like i'll be walking to the store and i'll be like you know what that dinty more kind of sounds legit right now we'll grab some of that uh grab a quick snack with some masubi spam wrapped with seaweed oh oh you know what dg no 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 no. i think masubi that's what remember i was saying my daughter and her friend wanted to get something that sounded like wasabi i think it's masubi i think that's what it is spam wrapped with seaweed i might i might, I might have to check that out i might have to check that out tell you what if we go somewhere that has that i will definitely make a uh a food review video there uh or or include it in my uh, kawaii adventure video i definitely will uh being chili my favorite way for pizza toppings portuguese sausage oh yeah 
Yes, pineapple, oh, pepperoni, and green peppers. That's that is an interesting combination. I don't know that I've ever heard that combination before. The the Portuguese sausage, the pepperoni, and green peppers, and pineapple. Very interesting. Like some of the uh, some of the sweet and some of the spice there. Very interesting. Uh, you know, invite me to I. Yeah, sorry, uh, LV Piazza. So. Uh, the reason we're here right now is actually uh, a couple days from now is my 20th wedding anniversary. And so uh, here uh, with my wife uh, celebrating that. And so if I start to bring a lot of homies along, it might, it might, uh, it might, it might kind of, uh, my, my wife not might, might not have been too thrilled with that. So, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll hopefully uh, be back uh, out there in Vegas doing a live stream in the next couple weeks. In the next couple weeks, it's not going to be too long. And uh, we can have a little fun. And uh, anybody wants to come on out, hang in Vegas, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. But the 20th wedding anniversary trip here, probably, probably not a good idea to invite all the homies. Um, fried Twinkies. Uh, sorry for all the in, uh, upcoming rain. Yeah, Kauai was flooding the other day, too. Yeah, no. Um, so, I mean, when you book a trip, you just don't know what you're going to get. You never know when you go to Hawaii. And, uh, you know what, we, we had a beautiful, amazing day today. Uh, I know it was raining and, and hopefully, uh, the weather is, uh, cooperative enough that we can enjoy the week. Um, but we'll see. I haven't, I haven't looked at the weather for the rest of the week yet, but, uh, today was beautiful. It was really nice. Um, but uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Uh, is pineapple still the safety word? Yes. Yes. Pineapple. Yes. Yeah. You, uh, you, uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going too hard at you, if I'm going too hard, you just say pineapple and I'll, I will back off. That's it. I'll just, I'll ease off a little bit. Take it. I'll take her down a notch. Uh, the hola hola burger at hola hola burger at hola hola grill is the best burger in the world that I've ate. Also, it is home to the best pool in the world. Google best pool and it's uh, South Kauai. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. That, that's, that's good to know. That is very good to know. And that's where we were today because we went down. Um, what's that? What's that big canyon? I forget what it is. is it the Waimea Canyon or what is it where you drive all the way up to the top at all those lookouts and everything? I uh, went up there today, went to a couple different waterfalls and, and the, the uh, Kauai Coffee Company, all that stuff. Man, it was great. It was great. Uh, Kauai has good smoked meat. Oh, very interesting. Fried Twinkies. I did not know that. Uh, and any, any places in particular that maybe we should go check out, uh, when it comes to tacos, burritos, Tex-Mex, Texas, Mexican food, but, uh, hands down the best Michael you. So, um, Tex-Mex is good. I enjoy Tex-Mex, but I'm telling you, like you go to Southern California and you go to like King taco and, uh, Oh my goodness. Or you just go to like, um, Ah, man, like, like pick your taco shop. There's the one closest to me, this place called Castaneda's. Oh my goodness. Like, oh my goodness. So good. So good. Um, but then you've got like, uh, El Gordo tacos or Roberto's different places like that. That just, uh, absolutely love them. Uh, Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex is good, but I prefer like the Southern California style of Mexican food a little bit over the Tex-Mex personally. Uh, you had to go to taco talk. I'm hungry. Now. I know my bad, Jude, my bad. You know, we, we always get a food talk. We always do. It happens. It always happens here. Uh, uh, have you ever eaten Hawaiian pizza before? Well, I mean like the Hawaiian style. Like if you, if you go to like pizza hut and order Hawaiian, I think they put like, um, where they put like Canadian bacon and uh, pineapple on there. So, something like that. Uh, or sausage and pineapple, something, whatever it is. Um, I'm not a big fan. I, I don't hate pineapple. I enjoy pineapple, but I'm not a big fan of having it on my, uh, pizza. Yeah. My stomach is so growling. I know that's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, in Kaloa. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we're just, I think we're just in Kaloa. I think we're just in Kaloa today. Uh, okay. But instead, thank you very much for that info. I will definitely, I'm going to, uh, save that and we'll check it out. Uh, let's see. Pearl Harbor is moving. It rained for like 20 seconds when I went and no one cared. It was nice and cooling effect. Oh, moving as in like sentimental touching moving. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, it's it. I have been to Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor several times and uh, there's been times. Yeah. Where it was raining and it doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter. You go in there and everybody knows you just, you're quiet. It's a very somber place, emotional, uh, especially before like a vet like myself. Uh, and now my daughter is in the Navy. Uh, and now Iran is getting kind of crazy over there and ships are being deployed. And I'm just, I'm worried. Uh, I don't want my daughter having to go to war, but, um, I mean, Hey, you're in the military. That's, you know, it's part of it. It's part of being in the military. You know, you can't just go in to hang out. Uh, so may, may, she may end up over there. I hope not, but she may. Uh, but man, Pearl Harbor is definitely a very, very yeah, moving, emotional place. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, Jude says, uh, I bought stuff on different islands and I got this piggy bank made from a coconut that I still don't know how to use. You know what? I have seen coconut piggy banks and um i i think the only way to like get the money out is to like actually break it um but i've seen those i haven't bought one uh or, or tried but i believe the only way to get the money out is to break it uh but i don't know about putting money in i don't know how to do that either uh Kaloa landing resort has the best pool in the world and the best burger hola hola grill right by their pool nice and and that, that is awesome Sep. i will Definitely, definitely try and check that out. Uh, poi is a paste-like substance made from taro root. Okay, okay. I I, I don't know that offhand. Yeah, offhand. Um, maybe that's something I'll have to try while I'm here. I, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I don't know. I'd have to try it first. Love spam. I, I, ain't nothing wrong with spam. Uh, did you watch the Joker 2 teaser trailer? You know what? I have not watched it yet. I have not. I've just been busy, have not gotten around to it. I need to check it out. I uh, love spam with mustard. Ooh, Robert. Okay. Spam was one thing. Uh, you can keep that mustard stuff. Man, I'm telling you, we're flying over here. And this is crazy. I thought I thought we were like going to be like on a secret video cameras or something. Because we're flying over here on Hawaiian Airlines. And uh, they have free internet, first of all. I was like, oh, this is nice. Free internet on an airplane. That's nuts. And, and you know what it was? It was Elon Musk's Starlink internet. We we're, were on Elon Musk's internet. It was amazing. It was great. It was just as good as this. I could have done a live stream from the airplane, but they said uh, on the plane, there were like no live streaming from the plane. So didn't get to live stream. Uh, and plus, you're not allowed to talk like on a phone or anything on, on, on the airplane. So I couldn't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're there. And then they come around and they're like free drinks. And you could even got like a free Mai Tai with alcohol in it. That never happens on airplanes. And then they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to bring you a free hot sandwich. I was like, what? And, and, and then you start reading it. And it's like, okay, well, it's got like a, it's on an English muffin. It's got eggs. It's got like bacon or sausage, your choice, cheese. And then it had Dijon's. I know Dijonese is like half mayonnaise, half mustard, or maybe three quarters mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard or whatever, but ooh, I cannot do mustard. So um, I got a free hot sandwich and I ended up throwing it away because nobody around me wanted, they all got one and nobody wanted to. So I ended up chucking that bad boy, which sucks. Free hot sandwiches on an airplane. Man, I was so bummed to find out it had mustard on it. Uh, Masubi is a rice block with spam and seaweed wrapped. So I, you know, and I've heard, um, that, you know, because my daughter was talking about, there's like, uh, they were, and I, I want to say it was Masubi, but they were like, oh, there's like different ways you can get it or something. Um, but I, I don't know, maybe, maybe something else, but a rice block with spam and seaweed wrap. Yeah. See, I would, I would try that. I would totally be all about that. I would totally. So uh, I think we're, I think we're going to go to a place that has Masubi. I think we're going to go try that out. Uh, well, happy anniversary. Well, thank you very much, being Chile. I appreciate that. Uh, we did stop at Pearl Harbor. Last I was there, uh, and I'm scared to try spam. Yeah, you know what, Jude? It, it, is, it is definitely an acquired taste. Spam is definitely acquired. Uh, not everybody is going to like it. That's for sure. Uh, 20th, I know. 20, it's, and it's crazy how fast time flies it really is crazy 20 years it's just blown by uh just kidding OGP just jealous because you know why no, no no i know and i i, I kid i kid right back with you that's what we do that's what we kid we, we kid we have fun um but uh, man i'll tell you what i would love i would love to take a vacation and uh be able to bring everybody just be like you know what uh if this channel ever blows up and i ever get like even a quarter of the way as famous as like uh 
uh, Mr. Beast or something. Uh, we're we're going to fly every single uh, Channel Legend out. We're all going to go party somewhere, like maybe Waikiki or something like that. We're all going to do it uh, on me. But we, we got to get the channel up to like at least a million subs first, uh, which, is, which is a long way to go. <laughs> we got a long way to go to get there. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know what. Well, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, Michael, uh, uh, gear uh, anniversary that is amazing. Uh, amazing, awesome sauce. Twenty years, congrats, and a happy anniversary. That is beautiful. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. You're going to need to take notes for all the places and things being thrown out there. I know, being chilly. No, I know. I know. Uh, SoCal, San Diego has some of the best Mexican food out there. Being chilly, and uh, being that I grew up and lived near San Diego. I agree. That is what I'm saying. Uh, the San Diego uh, Mexican food is legendary. It's on point. Antonis, thank you very much for the uh, happy anniversary wishes there. Appreciate that. Second favorite Mexican food for me is New Mexico uh, red and green chili. Yeah, they're they're famous for their green chilies over there. Yep. I do like California style, which honestly is closer to real Mexican food. I agree. Uh, might as well title this video live food talk from Maui. Yes, we are in Maui and we are talking food uh, by the pool. We're talking food by the pool. Uh, we got uh, we got we got uh, these cookies and uh, different things going on over here. We're taste testing stuff and uh, we're we're almost barfing from some bullshit corn treat. Uh, but that's how we do it. We we uh, <laughs> we go live in the middle of the night and we talk about food. That's what we do. Uh, up. The uh, ladies love the pineapple. Wink, <laughs> wink, Metal God was the. Uh, are you excited for Deadpool three? Um, you know what? I mean, uh, here's the thing. Um, like superhero movies are not my favorite, uh, but uh, I'll probably. I'm sure uh, Deadpool is. It's very very funny movies, so I'm sure I'll watch it. But it's not nothing that I'm like. Oh my god, I can't wait for. Just just to be honest, uh, you could totally miss Poi and not miss out. Good to know. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Happy anniversary to you and right. Thanks, Robert. Appreciate that. Uh, did you like going to the movies with Fluff? Yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time with Fluff, and I've been to the movies many, many times with Fluff. Um, we had a good time. It was a great movie. Late Night with the Devil. Uh, phenomenal movie. Really enjoyed it. If you have not seen it, uh, that's another thing. Um, I believe Late Night with the Devil is going to be streaming this Friday, if I, if I caught that right. I think Late Night with the Devil is going to be streaming. You can watch it at home, I think, this Friday. So it won't be too much longer, and you can watch Late Night with the Devil. Uh, but uh, look at that. Look at that. We're caught up with the comments. But uh, hey, everybody, it's been fun. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, it's 926. I don't want to uh, you hear. It's 336 or 326 in uh, New York or on the East Coast. Um, but I don't want to stay on too, too late tonight because I do want to be able to get up early and enjoy uh, the island here. I want to enjoy my time on the island. Um, but, uh, and I apologize for going late, so late tonight. Uh, but I did what I could. The internet on the island is just not good. Here in the hotel, in the in the condo, I'm fine. Uh, but out and about, uh, it's just, it's not the best. So I apologize for being so late. Uh, next Monday, I will be live. And get this, uh, next Monday, it's going to be also a little bit different. We'll be live at the normal time. It will be regularly scheduled programming next Monday, 7 p.m. on the West Coast, 10 p.m. on the East Coast. And uh, I will be probably in a hotel room with the Fluffy Gamer somewhere on the way to the Lone Star State. I, I can't say it because I can't say the name of that state because I don't have my clappers with me. Uh, but we're going to be on the road uh, somewhere eastbound and down uh, with Fluffy Gamer next Monday. Uh, doing a live and I'll have my laptop with me and uh, we'll be doing it all up like a normal show just a different background probably in a hotel somewhere but um, anyways thank you all for hanging out with me tonight I appreciate every single one of you hopefully you have a wonderful week I'm gonna go do my best to enjoy the hell out of the island of Kauai and uh, I'll do my best to make sure I got some great video content for you when I get back in town so thanks everybody have a good one take care of yourselves be safe and uh, aloha Peace out.